What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, so full of so full size gaming. And this afternoon, we are here live on Twitch playing some more Atlas. But today is going to be a very quick, quick, quick update. I was up until 6 a.m. last night, and I was working on this behemoth last night for like three hours it's got it's gonna be our new whaling schooner it's got six ballistas three on the bottom deck three on the top deck up here that's gonna be our whaling schooner I actually scavenged a couple of crew from off of my boat over there Brought them over here, got them ready for this. And then got a nice little downward hatch. And this boat also is going to pack a punch because it's also going to be able to be used for farming SODs. Ships of the Damned. And then we got a smithy and pretty much everything else that we will need on our boat. For everything else. Ammo box. Got ammo in here, ready to go. So all we need to do is just drop her into the water. Uh, this boat actually is a combination of about, I don't know, maybe four different videos I've watched. Um, I've been trying to like coordinate different ideas that I've seen in other people's content to make a good video like this. This is something I learned from when we were playing. Um, with HC so none of that right there we got some in this design right here this was from a video from somebody else I think it was um, I Beastly something like that I can't remember his name so this is the design that I came up with for our whaling schooner I just need to go ahead and release her so that is what I'm going to do right now Thank goodness it was uh it's actually deep enough over here. So that is a positive in my book. Alright, so let me get the name all situated. All right, so we got the name situated. We're gonna call her the Little Toot. Uh, I asked my clan members what was the name they wanted to go with, and they wanted to use a Disney name. <laughs> so I had to find one that would kind of correspond, and that's what I came up with was Little Toot. For you guys that maybe don't know what video that what cartoon that is, it's an old. It's an old 80s cartoon. I think that cartoon came out in like 86 or something like that. Uh, Little Toot is the, the baby tugboat. And his dad was called Big Toot. So that's where the name came from. So just to give you guys an idea. Let's see if I can get her out of the dock. And she came down in a very very awkward position all right okay we got her out oh man she's very agile okay get her out of the dock and I'll back her in over here into the port section over here and here we go our new whaling schooner 
has been completed. So I just wanted to go ahead and throw that video together for you guys so you guys can take a quick look at it and see how she looks. Uh, close sale. Okay. Now I got a back her in. So the design of the or the design of the ballista on the back. It's a little different. It's it's something that I've seen before in PVP. Uh, usually you'll see them sitting on like the pillars. So you can see the pillars are back there. That's how the design initially started was doing that and then I went ahead and I adjusted it a little bit added the window frames on the side just to give it a little bit more stability put the top on on there so that way the crew members that are gonna sit up there they'll be able to sit up there with no problems that bay is just big enough for them to fit in there isn't it isn't it kill me <laughs> isn't it perfectly just for this boat to fit in there kill me is our designated construction I guess manager he did the the harbor house over there and he made some changes to the as you can see to the harbor he added the little stations now how far can I go back before I actually can't go back any further actually I think that's it I don't even think she can go back any further Oh yeah, that's it. She's actually touching bottom. Yeah, so even the schooners back here can't really... Oh, there we go. I didn't think I was going to be able to get up. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Okay, that's the reason why we have the ropes on the side. So I might as well go ahead and take that down completely. Because you can't use that rope to even get up there at all. Hello, can I nerf up? Can't see what the crap, man. Thank you. It'd be so much better when it's in deep water. Let me... Yeah, there we go. Just retract that all together. Oh, now you guys are sweeping. Okay, all right. So I tried to put these guys on the sails, but I guess I'm gonna have to move the boat like out into deep water. Or at least far enough from the animals so they don't get attracted to try and pull over here. So we'll do that. But yeah, that is the quick little video of the new schooner design. I think it turned out very well. Especially since I built it at like 2 o'clock in the morning. And then I didn't finish until like 6. Then I had to wake up the next morning to go to work. Which was only like 3 hours later. <laughs> so... Yes, I am at this point extremely tired, but uh, it was worth it, and we should get a lot of welling done out of this boat, and then the bay is now opening it up so we can go ahead and get ready with the next ship build that we need. We need one more whaling ship, and then we need also another a resource schooner, so we'll work on those and get them done. But uh, yeah. Thank you guys for checking out this quick little walkthrough of 
basically my boat tour of the new uh, dwelling ship. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, feel free to go ahead and hit that follow button. Oh, loop. I guess I missed. And check me out over on Twitter at Soulful Science Gaming, as well as Instagram. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, guys.